it's all scientific, my mind's higher lifted. I wrote know thyself in the pyramids and hieroglyphics. I still fire biscuits, street soldier, I enlisted. I will end your world in 2012, don't get them Mayans twisted. Right here, we dealing with the, with, with the, I believe the greatest African that ever lived, M. Hotel. Anybody know of one greater? The, the first multi-genius that ever existed on the planet Earth. Built the pyramid of Saqqara, the first stone structure above the ground. The first phys physician that we know of today that stood out in history. And he, he was the, uh, the grand visor for that great Pharaoh Sutin right there, Zosha, or Seer. And they built the first lodge, grand lodge of Kemet. Imhotep is the first grand master. He built the first stone structure. You ain't no damn mason if you ain't cutting no damn stone. First grand master. The very first one cutting stone. For 2,000 years before Sodom. Okay? So I just want to stay on top of that. Because we teaching a lot of shit and, and our babies is believing this. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? We turn them away from Africa. We, we got them looking to Jerusalem, a goat pasture. We got them look, looking towards Mecca, a goat pasture. Okay? Again, we see the first grand master of the craft of Pata sitting on the square. This is all knowledge, family. He's right. He got to be right. He got to be mathematically correct and sound. It must be order in the universe. See, there's no order, there's no order on this planet right now. We are, we are the mothers and fathers of civilization, okay? That's that's a column. That's a column. As you can see, it is on the oblong. This is the first Masonic Lodge of ancient Kemet, okay? Constructed by the Grand Visor, the Tajeti in Hotel. Here, this pyramid, it got one, two, three, four, five, six layers. It started out as a master box. A master bar would have been one one lane. That's right. And he stacked them. He stacked it to, uh, if I think he stacked it to three, and then he said, you know what? I'm going to take it up even further. And he took it up to six. Now, this is a master bar. So when we're talking about the development, we can show the goddamn development in Africa. And so we could go right here to Africa and Egypt and show you the master bar. This is what the kings was in before Imhotep built the step pyramid. All he did was stack them. That's what he did. But this is the development thing. This is what you call a master bar. And just like in the pyramid, they still had the, the, uh, the route that led down here where they buried the king. Okay then. Okay then. And so here we go. The evolution of the master bar into the step pyramid. This is the master bar. Imhotep comes along Okay, Master Ba as a single story oblong royal tomb. Okay, Imhotep comes, he stacks three on top. Okay, he extends the Master Ba. He wants to do something that has never been done for his king or any king prior to Zosia. And so, this is his great vision that he's bringing forth. And he stacked it and made the world's first skyscraper. That's still standing today. So when you run up in your Bible and you come with all these goddamn mythologies, we don't need no goddamn mythologies about our greatness. We have enough artifacts that can de detest the, uh, the, the great history of African people. We don't need no more mythologies. The evidence is overwhelming. And so I'm hitting hard on all type of bullshit. The step here me. And so you can see the Africans are not moving to perfection. They're filling the, the steps in. Okay, and so when we deal with the pyramid, a lot of people say pyramids are all over the planet. Where at? I don't know what the hell y'all talking about. Because when you're dealing with mathematics, in which we trying to be as precise as possible, my heart, order, balance, and also preciseness. You understand what I'm saying? We got to be on point. Only in Africa do pyramids come to a point. Matter of fact, that's what a pyramid is if you look it up from a, 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 a geometrical standpoint. A pyramid come to a point. Okay then. 
So when you go around the world and you're talking about all of these pyramids, show me where they at. Because none of them come to a point, or only in Africa. And so right here, after Imhotep built the step pyramid, you can see uh, this is the pyramid of Maidun. Huni, which is the father of Seneferu. Huni, which is the grandfather of Khufu, who built the largest pyramid at uh, uh, Giza. Huni, the great grandfather of Khafra, who built the second largest pyramid of Giza. Huni, the father of Seneferu, the father of Khufu. Okay? So you see this bloodline right here. And so Seneferu supposedly came and did some touch ups on it, but he never finished, finished it. So, what I'm doing is what I'm showing you is the development of the pyramid. Now, as we show where the Grand, uh, at the uh, pla uh, Plateau of Giza was aligned with the uh, Orion's belt, you can see right there at Saqqara that. They had already had, it's coming from the south. They already had that site. Imhotep already had that site. Before uh, uh, Khufu, Kafka, and Menkara. You got Zolja, you got Unis, Yusakov, and in, uh, in, in Unis you got pyramid texts. These are the oldest texts in ancient Kemi. They are pyramid texts. Then they moved into the coffin text, and then they went into the papyrus. And so this is up in Nubia. These are some temples up in Nubia. You got Philae over here. You got Elephant Time. They destroyed that shit. They destroyed it. Do you know when they put that uh, Aswan down in there, all of this was flooded out. They flooded it all out. Oh, I got pictures. I ain't got them today. All of that was up underwater. You can still, when you go in the temples, you can still see the water line. Where that shit was, that show you what the Arab thought of that. That's right. That's what the Arab thought about temples. That's right. So if it was his, he would not have done that. These are the greatest temples on the planet Earth. See, you don't do this shit like this in the Third Dynasty family. They had already developed that knowledge many thousand years of years before dynastic Egypt. You got to understand that dynastic Egypt, black power. Dynastic Egypt began around 4100 BCE, but Egypt was already there. It, ju it just not, it just didn't form into the nation yet. It was just small counties. They were well advanced. They many of them had writing. They already had the knowledge of government. They already had the knowledge of divine kingship. They all already had uh, deities. <laughs> what you call gods in many of these uh, different areas of Africa. But then here come Nama, the first king or sultan of Egypt. And he takes control of the whole land and he forged all of these groups into one nation. And this is the first documented goddamn nation on the planet outside of Nubia, which is right up the river from Egypt. They have documented now that Nubia is, um, I mean, like we waiting on the peck of wood. We already knew the shit, but you know, sometimes we wait on the white man to come with his little fake ass documentation. And he ain't seen shit. The white man just crawled off out the goddamn get, uh, cave two days ago. It's all scientific. My mind's higher lifted. I wrote know thyself in the pyramids and hieroglyphics. I still fire biscuits, street soldier, I enlisted. I will end your world in 2012, don't get the Mayans twisted. Thousands of years ago, when our forefathers were primitive Stone Age people, some extraterrestrials visited our Earth. <laughs> Extraterrestrial presence not only departed the wisdom to build the monuments, but possibly the technology to make it happen. It sounds bonkers. <laughs> But could aliens have started civilization and built some of the most famous monuments on Earth? One group of people say that most of these monuments were built or designed in the distant past by aliens who visited our planet with their super advanced technology. Man could have had the ability to physically stack those large blocks in Egypt and build that 100,000 men. But the knowledge to do it had to come from somewhere else. There had to be some type of intervention and that's why I look towards the ancient astronaut theory. Ancient astronauts from somewhere else 
came here and influenced our society. Egypt and Nubia are the only nations that truly constructed a pyramid. This is a step pyramidal like structure, but it don't come to a point. But they moving towards coming to the true pyramid. And under Seneferu, who was the father of Khufu, they achieved that. The world's first true pyramid in world history. 2613, 2589 BCE. And I had the pleasure of going down, me and my wife, we went down there three times. I went three, she went twice with the master teacher, Ashrock Kwesi. These are the great pyramids of Giza. There's no image that you can put on any screen that is more massive than that. So what I'm doing is what I'm showing you is the development of the pyramid. Okay, so ain't no motherfuckers say no aliens came down here and built shit. Because we can see the development. That's right. All right then. And right there, that come about the temples. So all the motherfuckers talking about aliens came down and yeah. built the damn pyramid. Man, come on, man. They got all the goddamn carvers in, 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 on the walls. They, 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 they got, you think this the only one they got? They know where, that, where, where this shit come from. They'd rather get a damn credit to a damn alien than give it to an African. That's right. Because he's trying to keep you a slave. That's right. He's trying to keep you a slave. But that right there is right, came up out the temple. It showed the brothers carving these stones. It's all scientific. My mind's higher lifted. I wrote know thyself in the pyramids and hieroglyphics. I still fire biscuits, street soldier, I enlisted. I will end your world in 2012. Don't get them minds twisted. In the shadow of the Great Pyramids of Giza, Egypt has displayed its latest archaeological discovery. Tombs more than 4,000 years old, said to belong to workers who built them. The modest nine-foot deep shafts encased in limestone were uncovered last week. They held a dozen skeletons of pyramid builders, perfectly preserved by dry desert sand. In addition to bones, the tombs also contain jars that once held beer and bread meant for the workers in their afterlife. Egypt's archaeology chief, Zahi Hawa, said they date to the 4th dynasty, around 2,500 years before Christ. He said the discovery could well be the most important of the 21st century, with their location a key element in dispelling a popular belief. But the discovery of the tombs of the pyramid builders reconstruct history and tell us that the builders of the pyramids were Egyptians, and the builder of the pyramids were not slaves. And the builder of the pyramids were not slaves. And the builder of the pyramids were not slaves. Because they would be buried beside the pyramids, in the shadow of the pyramids. Hawa said the manner of their burial and the fact that those who died during the construction were entombed so close to the pharaohs in the pyramids meant they were honored workers, not slaves. And they were honored workers, not slaves. And they were honored workers, not slaves. <laughs> okay, now they building pyramids, the first pyramid, third dynasty, 2,660, 2,000, 668 BCE. Goddamn, they was building pyramids just a couple, about two, three hundred years after Narma. You know it took them longer to, de to develop that knowledge than 300 years. So Egypt basically appeared full blown because all the development had already taken place down in the Sudan, in Ethiopia. It had already taken place. And so that's why they flooded out Nubia. That's why they built that Aswan Dam to flood out the evidence because if you would have if you would have floated your boat down this motherfucker, it wouldn't have been no gaps in the development. You would have seen it with your own eye. Man, they got temples all up and down the damn river. And how the fuck is, I mean, so you got Jerusalem, you got Mecca, God damn it, you got sacred cities all up and down that river with temples that existed two and three thousand years ago and you would go to Mecca? You would go to Jerusalem? Man, we got a thousand Meccas in Africa. Imhotep was called the son of Ptah. This brother was a multi-genius. He's the first brother to come down to us in history and record history as a multi-genius. You heard about Michelangelo and Bernini, and you heard about Alberti. You heard about, heard about all those European so-called geniuses, but never did you hear about African genius. No one talks about the African genius, especially the first genius in recorded history, which is this brother, the ancient sage Imhotep. And you can see by his, his nose and his mouth he doesn't look like Charleston Heston or Yule Brenner. <laughs> He's no offspring of Elizabeth Taylor. Looking at his nose and lips, you can see that he looks just like your uncle. 
Looks like anybody you see here sitting in the room. Clearly showing you Imhotep is clearly an African. And this brother was the grand visitor, a visor, under the pharaoh Zos in the third dynastic period in Egypt, which is approximately 3,000 years BCE. Nearly 5,000 years ago, this brother walked on the face of the earth and was recorded as being a genius. This brother designed the first monumental stone structure known to man, the step pyramid for King Zosin. Now you heard about the seven wonders of the world, the light tower of Alexandria, and you heard about the hanging tower of Babel and the road statue and all the other stuff. You can't find any of it. It's all gone. But yet, the, one of the wonders, the pyramids of Egypt, are still there. The only wonders of the world that you don't have to wonder about are still there in Kemet. <laughs> This brother de designed the first one, and it's still there. You can walk right up and see it. 5,000-year-old monument sitting right there for you to come and see. And this is the first documented goddamn nation on the planet outside of Nubia, which is right up the river from Egypt. They have documented now that Nubia is, um, I mean, like we waiting on the peck of wood. We already knew the shit. But, you know, sometimes we wait on the white man to come with his little fake-ass documentation. And he ain't seen shit. The white man just crawled off out the goddamn get, uh, cave two days ago. <laughs> and this is the first documented goddamn nation on the planet outside of Nubia, which is right up the river from Egypt. They have documented now that Nubia is, um, I mean, like we waiting on the peck of wood. We already knew the shit, but you know, sometimes we wait on the white man to come with his little fake ass documentation. So Egypt basically appeared full blown because all the development had already taken place down in the Sudan, in Ethiopia. It had already taken place. And so that's why they flooded out Nubia. That's why they built that Aswan Dam to flood out the evidence. You see right here that the Mesopotamians, uh, they never built with stone. You understand? They built with mud, and that's why the shit looked the way it do. They never, none of these people ever reached the architectural level of the ancient Africans. They did not. If you go into Egypt, even the, even the damn pyramids that fell down look better than this. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's just a fact. This is the ziggurat of Ashur. And you understand? You can see it's nothing but a fucking mud mound. Now, this is right here. It'll fool the shit out of you. Because, you, you, you know, somehow people believe that this is how it looked since the ancient world. God damn it, Saddam Hussein put them goddamn bricks on that mud mound. That motherfucker is one of them, and I got the goddamn uh, facts. That's how it look. That's how the motherfucker look. And then Saddam Hussein, wait a minute, let me show y'all. Saddam Hussein, I got the motherfuckers out there putting the bricks on the motherfucker. Okay, so this is how I look. And then you see how I look today. Wait a minute. This is Saddam Hussein and his workers. They out there putting the goddamn bricks around the mud mine to fool you niggas. You see what I'm saying? It's nothing but a mud fucking mound. Nowhere in the ancient world where they reach the level of the ancient Africans who are like gods on the planet. The architecture looked like it was built by God. How the hell is this the origin of all civilization? You niggas must stop lying to the people, okay? Nothing but mud. This is another one. You understand? Look at this. You understand? They never built with granite, okay? So you're not going to tell me you came into goddamn Africa and built a pyramid and you didn't keep none of that knowledge for yourself? You still building with mud? The only way you could develop to build a pyramid, you would have had to been working on granite for fucking hundreds of thousands of years to get that good. They never created one fucking structure in granite. They never used masonry. Masonry is stone. So they were not masons. I'm tired of that. You know, you're not a mason by putting some goddamn mud together, a mud mound. That's not masonry. When you dealing with masonry, nigga, you still you dealing with stone, nigga. That's what a mason is. You dealing with stone. You cutting stone, nigga. There is no stone on this structure. This is a fucking mud house. <laughs> That's all in there. And over the years, that shit just melted down to what it looked like today. Okay? So they'll draw all this shit to make you, 
You know, again, they put them bricks up there to, to, make, it, to make it look like something. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what they did. They put this shit up here to make it look like something. This is another one, you know, where they put some brick on the outside. It's technically a mud fucking mouth. Remember that history isn't the way the corporate controlled media made it look like. Read between the lines and free your mind. Revolution is the birth of equality and the antithesis to oppression.